1905. He's 25 years old and he's living in Zurich. He's recently, but not particularly ecstatically married, and he is struggling to support his new wife, a new child, and a recently widowed mother. Not a lot of fun. He's doing this on a very poor wage because he works for the Swiss Patent Office as a technical expert, third class. To escape this joyous reality, when he gets occasion, he plays his violin, which accounts for the theme music for this lecture series. And when none of those things are happening in the gaps of his life, and when the boss at work is not looking, he does maths. As a result of this maths, in this one year, 1905, Albert publishes five scientific papers. And together, they constitute the greatest leap forward in mankind's understanding of the universe ever. Well, the Swiss Patent Office, ever one to spot talent, immediately promotes Albert to a more senior position. Technical expert, second class. <laughs>